Using models to subtract, lesson 6.4. Models can help us subtract when we need to regroup a 10 into ones. In this problem, we have 42 minus 8. We need to think, do we need to regroup? We look at the number 8 here, and if it's greater than the number above it, then we're going to have to regroup. We can't have 2 and take 8 away. We need to regroup from the tens place and give some to the ones place. So here we have four tens and two ones. We can break this one apart and give it to the ones place. And instead of a ten, we now have ten ones. See? We took one away from this four tens, and it became three tens. We gave that one ten to the ones place, so now instead of two ones, we have twelve ones. See? We can cross those out. Now we can do twelve minus eight in the ones place. We have twelve ones here, and if we take eight away, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's going to leave four ones. We have a three here. And there's nothing here, so we just drop the three down. And the answer is 34. See? We regrouped and gave a 10 to the ones place as 10 ones. See? We ended up with 12 ones. So we ask, do we need to regroup? If the answer is yes, we regroup 110 as 10 ones. Then we subtract the ones place first, then we subtract the tens. If we ask ourselves, do we need to regroup, and the answer is no, well then we just subtract the ones first and then the tens. We don't regroup, okay? So let's try this. We're going to look at the numbers in the ones place and decide if we need to regroup. If the bottom number is bigger than the one above it, then we're going to have to regroup. And look, 6 is greater than 3. So yes, we're going to have to regroup. We're going to have to take this 10 away from these 10s and give it to the 1s. We're going to put it over on this side as 1s. See? Now, we've got 13 ones and only four tens. We took one away from the five tens. It became four tens. See? And the three ones are now 13 ones. Now we can do our subtraction. 13 minus 6. We need to take six of the ones away. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's going to leave one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ones and four tens. But we need to take two away from here, see? Because it's 53 minus 26. So we still need to take away two tens, don't we? So let's take those away. Now we've got two tens left and seven ones. See? Let's try it again. We've got 24 minus 17. We look in the ones place. If the bottom number is larger than the top number, we're going to have to regroup. Can't have 4 and take 7 away. So we're going to take 1 from the tens place. The 2 is going to become a 1. We're going to take this 10 away from the tens place. We're going to give it to the ones, okay? And now we have one ten, see? And we have fourteen ones. So we don't have four ones anymore. Now we have fourteen ones. Now we can take seven away from it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
that's going to leave one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ones. Seven plus seven is fourteen, so fourteen minus seven equals seven. See? Now on this side, we have one ten minus one ten. So that means we need to take that one ten away. We take that one ten away, and all we're left with is the seven ones. 24 minus 17 equals 7. Let's try it one more time. We've got 39 minus 19. We look at the ones place, and if this number is greater than the one above it, then we need to regroup. Well, look, they're both 9. So do we need to regroup? Is this number greater than that one? No, they're the same. So we don't need to regroup. 9 take away 9, we take 9 away, how many 1's do we have left? None. We have a 0. We have 3 10's and we need to take away 1 10. That's going to leave 2 10's. 39 minus 19 is equal to 20. See? Let's try it one last time. We've got 55 minus 8. We have 5 tens and 5 ones, and we need to take 8 away. Do we need to regroup? 8, and we have a 5 above it. This 8 is greater, so yes, we're going to have to regroup. So we take this 110, and we move it over to the ones place. as 10 ones. See? Sorry, it's a mess. Now we've got 15 ones. We took one away from the five and it became four tens. See? We gave that 10 to the ones place as 10 ones and now we've got 15 ones because of that five. See? 15 minus 8, we could do that. We could take 8 away from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. How many 1's are left? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 15 minus 8 is 7. 4, and there's nothing here to take away, so we just bring it down. And there are 4 10's left. See? We regrouped. We're going to keep practicing this in future videos for a little while. And you should practice too. Here's some critical thinking. If we had six tens and three ones and we need to subtract eight, which one is written wrong? Which equation is written wrong? Can you tell? If we needed to subtract eight, that means we need to subtract eight ones, doesn't it? Well, this one, if you said this one is the wrong one, then you did a good job because the eight is eight ones, and this is in the tens place. So this is the wrong one. We cross out the one that is the wrong equation. And why is it written wrong? Because we were supposed to subtract an eight, and the eight was in the tens place, it's supposed to be in the ones place, see? So you can use models to subtract. You can make your own models from construction paper or school paper, all right? Just cut and put little 10 squares and make yourself a long and make yourself some little one unit squares. And you can use them, okay, to help you. I'll see you next video. We're going to continue talking about subtracting and regrouping. Bye.